Number one, a group of students voted on five after school activities. The bar graph shows the number of students who voted for each of the five activities. How many students chose activity three? So you don't have to do any calculations on this one. You just have to show that you are able to read a bar graph. Now we're wanting to know how many students chose activity three. Well, down here, these are our activities and there is activity three. So this is the bar graph bar that we want to be looking at in this bar graph. And so once we have that as our, our bar that we're looking at, let's look over, let's look where it's at. Where is that bar hitting? How many students are we talking about? Well, we can see that it is between 35 and 40. We may not be a hundred percent sure if that is 38 or 39, but we know it's somewhere between 35 and 40. So if we look at our answers down here, there is only one answer that is in that range and that is B, 39. So B is my answer. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. I've got some cool stuff coming for y'all, including a free course full of SAT tips and tricks, as well as an exhaustively complete course on everything you need to know for the SAT, both math and reading. So subscribe to the channel to get notified when that goes live. I'm also going to put it in the comments and description below as soon as it does. In the meantime, if this video was helpful or useful in any way, please let YouTube know. Comment, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.